I think everyone's a little bit confused. Friday will look much different on Boise State's campus as the university will see if they can convert learning to an all online format. We think we've got the infrastructure ready to go. We, we know we have the software and stuff that can help. Boise State planned this drill because of the coronavirus pandemic in anticipation that the virus shows up on BSU's campus. It starts to get a little serious and now over 40, 50 universities are, are doing this and more. It's growing every day. And so I think just to be ready for it, you know, we don't have plans. We don't have plans to start this on a certain day. And um, that could happen if things change. I mean, like everybody else, we're just sort of watching to see what evolves and doing what we can to be ready for it. But online learning also brings some challenges, especially for hands-on type of learning in labs. Three of my five classes are lab classes where attendance like in the buildings are really necessary, hands-on stuff, I'm in computer science. Jack Carr believes that at some point COVID-19 will stop students from being able to learn inside of university buildings. It's most likely the case that we are going to have to either end the semester early or go online. So I don't think any of us really wants that. But Carr understands why Boise State is preparing for a worst case scenario, even though he says he's not scared of the coronavirus. Most of us are young and the majority of us are healthy, but it is scary seeing what it's doing to the country. And Friday will help Boise State get the bugs out of this protocol, should they need to move to online learning down the road. Now it's about kind of figuring out what are we, what did we not anticipate? I mean, that's kind of what we're hoping to get out of Friday is figure out what questions we need, we haven't asked yet. Steve Dent, six on your side.